In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play this song, Behold, by Phil Wickham and Ann Wilson. So the song is in the key of B. Uh, easiest way for us to get there, capo on the fourth fret. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to play these chords in the key of G. So there's only four chords for this song. First chord you need is this G chord. And then the C at nine chord. And then we'll go to the D chord, which you can do this D. I'll probably use this one for most of the song. I may go to that one at some point, I may slide up to this D at some point. Um, but the D is the third chord, and then we need this E minor chord here. So the strum pattern for the song, I'm going to give you two options. You can use one strum pretty much the entire song. It's kind of got that driving pattern. So the song is in 6-8 timing. So basically just what that means is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're kind of accenting that one and the four. So that strumming pattern would just be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that would be, that's gonna be the pattern that I use pretty much for this entire song. If you wanted to, for songs that are in six, eight timing, I did a lesson on this a while back, 10 worship songs that you can do that are in 6-8 timing. And you can just literally, literally just go back and forth like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So I don't know whatever level you're at, guitar-wise, strumming-wise, but those are two options. Um, so you'll, you'll kind of hear it um, as I play through it. The intro is just going to be from the G to the C. Behold, the King has come. So it goes right into the verse 1. So verse 1. Behold, the King has come, divinity incarnate, creator of the world, breathing our air. Verse 2, Behold, what light has come, in the dark cannot Savior of the world is finally here. No, come, let us. So that goes right into the chorus. So again, for that verse, you can do the strumming that I was doing. You could just do down, up, down, up, down, up. Behold, the King has come. Divinity. Creator of the world, breathing our air. So either one you want to do will we'll work for that. So the chorus. Oh, come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him, for he alone. Back to that little intro. Do, 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 
goes into verse three. So for that course, you only do it one time the first time through. I think I went through it twice. But let me just play through that and sing through that one more time. So the chorus. Oh, come, come. Oh, come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. For he alone is worthy. Christ the Lord. So that's going to be your chorus. Again, you're just doing that same down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. And you, you know, you can do the full, the full strums, catching even the, the higher strings down here. But maybe for that first verse and the first, uh, the second verse and the first chorus, you just kind of focus more on strumming, like you know Phil Wickham does, and he just kind of focuses a lot on those bass notes up here. Do do do. for the verse three and verse four then you can maybe kind of open it up a little bit more i think i did a lesson a while ago also on how to play guitar like phil wickham just some of the different things that he does on the acoustic guitar to really kind of add some dynamics so i'll definitely link that video up top just if you want to just kind of look through and watch what i'm what i'm talking about some of the things that he does to add dynamics when he's playing acoustic guitar so after the chorus it goes to that the turnaround which is the intro chord progression the g to the c you do that one time then that goes to verse three um that's the same no changes then it goes to verse four that's the same no chord changes then it goes to another chorus um no chord changes for that same as the one i just went through and then it goes to the bridge which we'll spend some time on here so let's see um we'll just call this whole thing one bridge uh let's see actually i'll just split it up there's there's three different parts to this bridge so i'll just do bridge one bridge two bridge three just for the sake of the, the chord progressions change so bridge one you're just playing the g chord we give you all the glory we give you So bridge one, you're just doing the G chord. Bridge two, we're going G. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Christ the Lord. So where you play that C, we give you all the glory. Play an A minor there if you want to. Um, you know, we we give you all the glory. We give you all. We give you all the glory. So if you wanted to play the A minor there, you could. If you play a C at nine, the C chord, totally fine. Uh, so that's bridge two, and then bridge three. We praise your name. Getting bigger here. We praise your. Let's see. 
Come, let us adore Him. Come, let us adore Him. For He alone is worthy. Christ the Lord. Then it does another chorus. It just repeats that. Um, and then just the tag on the end, it's going to be Christ the Lord, Christ the Lord, and you're just ending on that G chord. So um, I'll have the chord charts for this on my Patreon page. If you need to print them off, make some notes, or just even just download them to, to use to work your way through this song. They'll be on my Patreon page, which I'll link in the description and in the pinned comment down below on this uh, video. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this helps you out. Uh, I think it will. And love y'all and see you in the next one.